firm solidarity with the people and the political parties of Jammu and Kashmir in their struggle for peace, justice, dignity, human rights and other rights guaranteed to them by the Constitution of India. It is deeply regrettable that the Honorable Supreme Court of India has not even begun the hearing of the matter related to Article 370 and 35A, nearly three years after the central government revoked these articles. Long pendency of constitutional cases erodes the credibility of the apex court. The statehood of Jammu and Kashmir should be restored and free and fair elections to the assembly should be held at the earliest. I am opposed to the forcible and manipulative demographic, demographic changes in Jammu and Kashmir. The central government has failed in its promise to create conditions for the safe and dignified return and resettlement of Kashmiri Pandits. It must fulfill this promise not only for Kashmiri Pandits but for all those who were forced to migrate out of Kashmir due to the disturbed conditions here. The people of Jammu and Kashmir have suffered a lot due to terrorism and violence of various types. Their desire for peace must be fulfilled. I strongly condemn the malicious and false portrayal of the Kashmiri people as unpatriotic in a section of the mainstream national media. Or I will say that we have to say that we have to say that we have इनसे बड़ा पेट्रियोट इस देश में दूसरा कोई नहीं है। If these are not patriotic people, then none of us have a right to claim any patriotism towards our country. <coughs> On 24th June 2020, two years ago, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had promised the leaders of political parties from JNK, Farooq Sabhi the us meeting mein. Abhiti, mm -hmm. that he would take steps to remove Dil Ki Duri and Dilli Ki Duri. Over two years have passed and the promise remains unfulfilled. Ekor Jumla Jorgaya is Sarkar Ke Tawarik. I also want to say to you that if elected, I shall perform my duty as the constitution, custodian of the constitution, without fear or favor. One of my priorities would be to urge the government to take all necessary steps to resolve the Kashmir issue permanently and restore peace, justice, democracy, normalcy, and end the hostile development towards Jammu and Kashmir. I have great personal regard for the candidate of the ruling party, however, from Srinagar, I urge her to make the same affirmation and promises I have made just now. The people of Jammu and Kashmir also expect this assurance from her.